Morning chaps, welcome to another video. Um, today, again, it's another shave of the day, but I'm going to focus on a piece of hardware um, more than the soap, which I tend to do in a lot of my reviews. So today, we're going to focus on a brush. Uh, it's a brush you've seen in the vast majority of my videos. Um, so I'm just going to sit and tell you a little bit more about exactly what I like um, about the Cadman brushes. Um, but before we show, go on to the brush itself, we're going to go through quickly the rest of the shave today. Um, the razor is Mueller R41 with a sharp blade and as inspired by an Instagram post I saw yesterday, um, I think it was Titty Biscuit, I can't remember exactly who, um, but Star Noir, one of my favourite, if not my favourite, Phoenix and Bow Soap, um, fantastic scent, fantastic performance, out of this world in general, so a bit like the Star Man. So what have we got? Well, like I say, razor and soap and a brush. Now the brush, I've got two of. So I'm going to show you the one that's not soaking right now. And the one, in, the brush in question, is these. It's the 26mm silver tip knot in an L7 handle, custom colour um, with a custom inlay on the bottom. Um, now the inlay is personal to me, and that's what makes them personal. Sounds silly, personal, personal, but anyway. Yeah, that's the one thing I liked about the brushes that Merv offers, is that level of customisation that no one else offered. Um, granted, handle choices, style-wise, is, is Merv's, um, but I got control over the colour, um, which as you can see, it's a, it's a nice dark brown, and if you turn the brush, you get some lovely inclusions sort of going around to gold, and it just sort of filters through. And both brushes are almost identical, um, and I know Merv said in the hundreds, if not thousands of brushes he's turned, he's never had two come out quite the same as these two did um, so that was just a nice little touch there um, so they are 26mm silver tip knots beautifully soft wonderful to whip up a lather with so without further ado we are going to do just that pop that one back up there safe but before we do that I'm just going to have a splash of water on your face so the brush has been soaking for about five minutes. There's the second one. Again, as you can see, nice and dark. And as I turn it round, you get those lovely inclusions in there. So, Star Noir, beautiful scent. And what I notice about this brush, flicked out most of the water by the way, is that it, it whips up any soap very easily, very quickly. very very easily and this has taken up a lot straight in to the tips nice and actually quite gummy today um, but with the inclusion of water plenty of because I've whipped out a lot of the water that I would normally keep in the brush for bowl lathering so we will add some water and to do that I don't know anything scientific all I do is just dip the tips in the in the sink. Start lathering. As you can see it splays lovely. Good amount of splay. We hold a lovely amount of water. And as I already said, they pull up a good amount of soap regardless of what type of soap it is, be it a soft puck like the Phoenix and Bow or a rock hard puck like Mitchell's wool fat. Makes no bones at all about doing so. Now today, I'm just going to go for a two pass shave. It's getting later on in the day and I want to have something to shave in the morning. So, as you can see, I just swirl the brush around and it builds a thick lather very quickly. As you can see, it's, it holds on to a lot. The display is, is just right. There's just enough backbone that you can feel there's something behind it, but not too much that it's stiff and flicks your lather everywhere. And the tips are beautifully soft. Just 
like just wafting angel wings all over your face. And it is exactly what I would describe as luxurious. If you've ever stayed at a posh hotel and experienced the wonderful eider down duvets and pillows and that outer level of decadence, you know, that's what you get here. As you can see, the brush is now absolutely chock full. It's just a very short load from the puck. See, it's absolutely rammed, full of leather, and the face is ready to go. So, like I say, angel wings. It's the only way to describe it. And what we've got, as, as I said earlier, R41. With a sharp blade, let's crack on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to lathering, I generally prefer face lathering. More so when I'm using the Cadmans because they are just wonderful on the face. It's sorry, my sentences sound a little uh, disjointed at the minute. Obviously, shaving around the face, um, but yeah, it's like a a good brush is wasted if you bowl lather it. I don't mind bulb lathering with the synthetic or um, a really scritchy bore, say. But with Cadman's, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. It has to be face lathered. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have bulb lathered with it, but I tend to do that when I'm using new soaps that I've not used before. I want to test the lather, build the consistency right, you know. And then I will face lather with it as well. But uh, yeah, face lathering is the way to go for me. And one of the best things I like about Merv's brushes, ooh, focus, is the customer service. When I first inquired about the brushes, oh, I forget how long ago it was now, um, some point in the second part, or second quarter of last year, it was a case of, yep, yeah, I'm busy, but I get you in, and uh, what I can do is I can take pictures during production just to show you how it's all going, and I will build it, and if you're not happy with it, we'll change it. If you don't like how the, the handle blanks come out, as he said, I'll turn you another one. And I think Merv made me three blanks, all in. The first one was very nice. It was a lot lighter in colour than these, but it was very nice. And uh, Merv poured another two, showed me those, showed me how they came out when turned. And it was, it was one of those kind of absolutely have to have those two because they match so really well and then when it came to designing the discs it was a case of what you want on your discs so I gave Merv an idea of what I wanted something personal for me and my dad um, and yeah he said just send over what you want and if I can get it printed and made on the disc I will and uh, we went with the idea originally of having a white disc with the signatures in black and then Merv kind of PM'd me and sent me a message saying look said, tell me to bugger off if you want but he said I think it'll look better this way with the colours inverted so it's a black disc and a white signature 
and he showed me a couple of examples of similar things to sort of temporarily set into the handle. And do you know what? It was a it was a master stroke. Going for the black background, it just fits so much better with the handle. And again, it's a level of care that you just don't get anywhere else. You can go to the big brush makers like Kent and Simpsons and they'll say, yeah, you can have your BK4 um, or you can have your, your chubby. That's it. You might have a choice of colour, but minimal. Whereas this is a bit more like Burger King. Have it your way. And I don't think you can beat that. And to top it off, Murph is a sound bloke. Absolutely sound. If you've ever seen any of his contributions to the UK Wet Shaving Society and like the raffles for Rob Frank and all sorts, it's, it's very humbling. Find someone who just who loves what he's doing and he's a general all round diamond geezer, so yeah. If you're looking for a new brush, don't look no further than Mervyn Cadman. Now, two passes complete. I think I nicked myself a little tiny bit. Um, yeah, tiny, tiny weeny bit on the chin, but that's not entirely unexpected given that I'm waffling away, not giving full concentration to the blade. And there we have it. Two lovely passes, one with, one roughly against the grain. Ably assisted by this wonderful, wonderful brush. And like I say, it builds a lather super well, really easy. Um, it's, it holds a good amount of water up front, so you don't have to worry about sort of adding too much more. Um, unless, of course, you want to, um, particularly when face lathering. I don't like lather going everywhere. I don't want it looking like a scene from Ghostbusters where Slimer has uh, been all over the place. But anyway, these lovely bristles, just, just wonderful. Absolutely Beautiful brush, um, highly recommended, highly, highly recommended. Um, they, they knock spots off of everything else I own. And don't, don't get me wrong, I've, I've not got lots of brushes. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different brushes up there on the shelf, two of which Cadman. Um, they are, without doubt, the best money I've spent hardware-wise on anything shaving related. Um, they get used almost daily. There's one or two days where I just fancy something different or I'm in a rush and I pick up one of the synthetics but 99 times out of 100 it will be one of these beauties. So just for the crack I'm going to quickly rinse this off very quickly so I can show you how well it looks up a bit of mixed with water fat because lots of people struggle sometimes with mixed with water fat and I want to show you how effective these are <coughs> soap soap now my pack of Mitchells has uh, seen a lot of use and it sits in its beautiful ceramic dish, like so, lid on. And uh, yeah, it's fairly dry at the minute. The brush has just been rinsed. I'll show you just how easily it whips up a storm in there. And I'm not doing anything special. I'm not loading it like I hate it, um, so I don't want to damage the bristles. But that there, you can hear it. You can see the soap building around the edge. In fact, my puck has just come loose from the bottom of the dish. Um, about there, a short load 
on that puck. That's a fairly short load. And it's full. And we're going to palm ladder that. Just going to uh, take the old adage of oh, it's not, want not. Pre ladder. Put that in the palm. So that's that little bit there. And away you go. It's just so easy. So easy. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to have to call this video to a halt because my battery is about to die. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, I very much appreciate your likes. If you really like what you've seen, very much appreciate your uh, subscriptions. So, gentlemen, I've been Nick. This has been the Cabman 26mm L7 Silver Tip Brush. See you soon. Bye.